Welcome to Unmasking Humanity, 21 Questions with Joshua T. Berglund. Thank you so much for being here. I'm your host, Joshua T. Berglund, and this is the very first broadcast uh, that I've done in over six months. So it's only fitting that we come back with a new show, a new format, and I believe something that's going to be way more interesting, way more fun, and also really highlight our guests uh, in ways that I don't believe that guests have been highlighted before on other broadcasts. These 21 questions are from all over the place. Now, they're very intentional. However, it's meant to get into the deepest parts of people's hearts, also to understand their vision, what they are about, where they're going, unique challenges. But also, these questions are fun and interesting and not boring. Now, in my previous broadcast, where it was all about putting a spotlight on shadow worlds and uncovering trauma, we'll do some of that, but it's going to happen organically instead of being forced. This is supposed to be a fun, lighthearted, but also authentic and real conversation to get to know who our guests really are, hence unmasking. And this is not to suggest that my guests wear, wear a mask, but at some point in our lives, we've all worn a mask. And at some point, well, we don't always showcase all sides of herself to the world. And in the spirit of the world that I believe is to come where there is no secrets. In fact, all that is hidden will be revealed, in my opinion, and other people's opinion. And anyway, won't spend too much time there. But I believe that it is time to show who we are in the most authentic ways possible. And while these questions are scripted, they are carefully crafted, crafted to be able to do that. I want to get the best out of my guest and also get the best out of me. Now, one of the things that some of you all know of is that I've been dealing with tremors the last six months, and that's why I haven't been broadcasting. And as you just saw, the minute that my eyes break focus off of staring at that camera lens, I will tremor. So you will see me with a blue ball, a blue spike ball in my hand during this broadcast, and that's to help me be able to ask questions and then also receive the answers without shaking my head all over the place, because that's what happens. <laughs> it's not a lot of fun. But that said, uh, this is how I'm, I'm, I'm going to deal with this. And so instead of it being a conversational flow, 21 set and specific questions. But again, I believe that this is going to get the most value out of the guest for you to enjoy. Thank you for being here. And before I continue, um, before we introduce our guest, I want to say this. I want to give a shout out to DLT Valley. Uh, thank you for the work that you're doing for people all over the world uh, who are disabled. And you're giving them the tools that are necessary for the fourth industrial revolution what you're doing in educating uh, the blockchain technology and how we can all benefit from it and how we can all use this in a way that empowers us regardless if you're disabled you're able-bodied you're able mentally you the work that you're doing is so important and it's going to absolutely transform um communities all over the world. And I've already seen it firsthand over the last few weeks uh, behind the scenes, getting to see the education that you're providing for others. And for me, it's a big deal. Uh, I've learned a lot. I'm excited to learn more. And I'm also excited to be the blockchain community manager uh, for your organization now. And it's a real blessing for me. We are all about elevating the voices for the voiceless. We are all about being a voice for the voiceless. But the other part of our mission at the World's Mayor Experience and anyone that I associate with and affiliate with, all of these amazing organizations like Miss Jess VR uh, and, and Think and Grow Big, and just there's just amazing, amazing communities and ecosystems around the world that we've been able to work with. And it's so exciting because now is the time for the meek to rise. Now is the time for people that have been underserved to really take their destiny in their own hands and make their dreams come true, to do what their creator created them to do. And regardless of disability, regardless of mental illness or, or you know, socioeconomic background or religion or gender or any of that stuff, now is the time for the underserved, the voiceless to rise. 
And um, we are so passionate on this platform about doing that or being a part of it and playing our role. And so the stories that we tell and the guests that we have on, like our guest Ferris today, uh, who is an absolute, you know, one of the more interesting people I've ever met and his background, and I'm going to read you a little bit of his bio because he has an expertise of unlike anyone I've worked with in the past. Uh, he has spent over 20 years delivering strategic change for the corporate and non-corporate worlds. He's been a top tier strategy consultant, a non-exec director, an educator, and an in-house strategist. But he has experienced firsthand the fine differences between strategic success and failure. And we're going to get into that today. We're going to have a powerful conversation. These questions are awesome. Our guest is amazing. Uh, he is just influences people all over the world to make radical change in their life. And I am absolutely honored to introduce to you our guest, Ferris. <laughs> 